So I was so impressed with the TP65A from Thermopro that I reviewed the other day. I went onto their website to learn a bit more about some of their other products. And I noticed they have this TP62 with 30% off Limitite only if you buy it through Amazon. So if you click that link, it comes up to a page that shows what their promotions are that they have running on Amazon. So the normal price for this TP62 is $24.99. When you uh, order it through this promotion, you'll get a $7.50 $7 reduction in the cost. So it puts it down to about $17.50 plus tax. And if you got the Prime, you get free delivery, obviously. Uh, the difference between this and the TP65A is the external unit the remote sensor, I should say, has a, a little hard to highlight. This one here it uses uh, two batteries instead of a rechargeable battery, which is fine for what I'm going to use this one for. I'm going to mainly use it for monitoring some inside the house temperatures and uh, humidity. It's kind of like a test vehicle, so I'm really not going to be using it all the time, so I don't mind using the batteries and it does come with batteries so here's some information on the different uh, remote sensor transmitters that they have the model 2 here tx2 uh, is the what they call the basic outdoor uh, remote sensor transmitter doesn't have as strong of a weather proofing it's not as wide of a temperature range and it uses batteries the uh, tx4 is the one that came with the TP65A that I reviewed claimed to have a little bit better uh, weather protection and wider temperature range of operation. Plus, it uses a rechargeable lithium battery, so it recharges off a USB cable that you plug into your laptop or a wall charger that you provide for yourself. And then they have this other one, which I haven't actually seen, a TX5 that's got a built-in display to display the current uh, temperature and humidity. And underneath, they can tell which one of the base units each of these remote transmitters are compatible with. So the TP2, the TP62 I'm reviewing right now uses this basic transmitter remote and it's compatible with the TP62. Uh, each of the units, the base units can uh, take up to three of these remote modules. So just make sure you get one that's compatible with the base unit you, that you have. The other aspect that's notable on this one from the last the 65A was the backlight is this orange coloration. And instead of a touch screen, it, you just have buttons. And you really, you're probably only gonna be mainly uh, tapping the screen to see the backlight come on. You're probably not gonna be necessarily touching the other buttons very often. So. Uh, the other nice thing about this, it does have a battery indicator on the top there, as you can see, and uh, that can be that can come in helpful. All right, so here's the basic unit. It comes with a simple package with the batteries, base station, the basic remote, as I talked about, and a nice little manual. I'll talk about this display first. It actually doesn't look, it looks orange in person. It doesn't look orange on my camera here. It looks kind of greenish, but anyway. Uh, one thing that's not obvious is how you turn on and off the backlight. It's, it's this little button right here in the back is what actually activates it. It's, uh, stays on for what 10 seconds or so. But anyway, pretty self-explanatory. The outside uh, indicators, temperature, humidity, in temperature, humidity, channel one. You can change the channels. Channel 2 if you had, or 3, or back to channel 1, and then that little recycle, you can talk, you can hit the, I'll do that again. Wish they make it for that light to stay on a little longer. Channel 1, 2, 3, channel 1 with the recycle, hit one more time and the recycle goes away, so it'll stay on whatever channel you, you left it on. Then there's trend arrows for temperature, humidity, up or going temperature going up or down, and uh, down here 
you can hit that tells you what the max is temperature humidity all time you can see that all time indicator there if you want to change that to uh, just the last 24 hours you can just hit this middle metal button here it'll say it'll be the last 24 hours worth so you can toggle between looking at the all time and 24 hours for max or all time or 24 hours for the minimum that's pretty much all there is to it if you want to clear the history you just hold down this uh, button over here for three seconds or so so let's look at the back of each unit so the back of the base station has the uh, backlight sense button there it's got a little cut out there you can attach this to a screw that you put in your wall a little fold down stand and then that metal piece in the middle is actually a magnet you can hold it up against your refrigerator and then you got your battery cavity there for it per, they give you an alkaline battery triple a and that's all there is to it for the base unit for the remote sensor pretty straightforward the bottom is ventilated and then there's cutouts here for both the humidity and the temperature probe and I think the reason that this um, remote is not considered as waterproof is because the battery cavity isn't sealed probably not real easy to seal it either compared to what it is on the TX2 uh, remote but you can see there's access in there for the two triple A's that they give you there's a button there for transmit so if you want to force it to do a transmit you can hit that button if you force it to reset you hit that middle button and then there's a toggle switch here that allows you to select which channel it's going to be transmitting on so if you have multiple remotes you want to keep them separate that's about it there's not really much else to show the book is very informative and it even has troubleshooting guides in there so can't complain too badly about their documentation and it's actually written just for this particular model the TP62 so thumbs up to Thermopro I think they've done a good job and uh, look forward to using this and other products in the future have a good day